Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at creating a, a selection that is not a rectangle. So down here, if we right click this one, it's not an ellipse, but it's a rounded rectangle, which kind of combines these two. One way of doing this kind of thing is to use the shapes. So I can go to the rounded rectangle here. I can draw a rectangle on there. It doesn't matter which colour it is, because I drag this to the edge there, to the icon, so it's a vertical blue bar, and it's effectively selected around there, and I can do it that way. But let's have a look at another way of doing it using the selection tools, which gives us different options. So I go here, right-click there, and get the rectangle marquee, and I draw in the rectangle that I want. But I want to make this a rounded rectangle. And all you do is you go to Select and smooth. And now I can increase the radius and guess what? It rounds off the corners. So there you go. That's classically the way you can do it. What sort of thing could you do with this? Well, for example, we can invert the selection, uh, which is Control shift i So we're selecting the outside. Then I could put on a blur. So something like a depth of field blur. So I stretch this out so it carries on out there uh, and the inside was, was normally be protected but we're already protected by the selection so when I turn up the radius the grass on the outside blurs but it's defined by how this is here so I can bring this out to however I want it to be and I can click on preserve alpha to stop it disappearing at the edges so there we go here is a way very simply and at Control D when I don't need to select any more. I can feather that as well and do all kinds of things with it. There's lots of things you can do selections you can't necessarily do to other ways. So bottom line, if you want to do a rounded rectangle, you do a square first with the marquee tool and then use select and smooth down there. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for watching.